everybody. Welcome back to the Measures of Success Video Practice Buddy Series. I'm Dr. Deb. Now that you know the best way to sit, hold your bass clarinet, and form a really good embouchure, we're going to use this session to help you to get a very good sound. And Caitlin's going to help you to do that, and I'm going to take you through the process step by step. So, besides good posture and embouchure, I want you to think to yourself, what do you think is one of the most important things in creating a really good sound on the bass clarinet? Now, don't say anything, because I know, I know she knows the answer. What do you think? If you said breathing, you'd be right, absolutely. Good breath support is absolutely critical. It's essential to making a really good sound on any uh, wind instrument, and in particular, the bass clarinet. So we're gonna take a, a couple minutes here to do some breathing work, and Caitlin's gonna help you with that. First, I would like you to stand up just the way Caitlin's doing, and she's gonna take her hands, she's gonna place her hands around her waist so that her thumbs go around the back, and the other fingers wrap around the front. Now she's gonna concentrate on taking a really big breath and she's going to keep her shoulders down and relaxed. When she does that, her shoulders will move, but her stomach will move in and out. So let's watch her do that. Go ahead, take a breath in and out again. One more time, Caitlin. In and out. Great. Did you see her stomach move out? I'd like you to try this yourself and notice how your muscles push against your fingers and thumbs from the front all the way around the back when you inhale, and then when you exhale, everything pushes in so that the air comes out. Okay, let's try that together. Here we go. Breathe in and out. Good, one more time. In and out. That's excellent. Now, we're gonna to try to control the amount of air that you take in and breathe out. I'm gonna do some counting while Caitlin breathes in for that number of counts. And then I'm going to give the same count again, and she's going to exhale. You ready, Caitlin? Okay, let's do it. Ready? Breathe in for four counts and out for four counts. Here we go. One, two, ready, breathe. In, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Good. Again, in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Good. Make sure that your, your tummy is moving in and out as you're breathing, that your shoulders are staying still. Let's try that again, and this time in for eight and out for eight. You ready, Caitlin? Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. In, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a really good breathing exercise, and you can try that with as many counts as you can handle. Now, let's do some breathing and playing using just the mouthpiece attached to the neck. Caitlin's going to form a good embouchure, and she's going to concentrate on making a clear, beautiful sound without having to worry about the rest of the bass clarinet for right now. So remember how to check your armature. She's using, Caitlin's using the red part of her lower lip to cover her bottom teeth as a cushion. Her top teeth are on the mouthpiece and the mouth closes around the mouthpiece like a drawstring while her chin is flat and it points down. So with that nice armature in place, she's going to take a good breath, remembering to keep her shoulders down and relaxed. Listen to her as she makes a sound using just the mouthpiece and the barrel. Go ahead, Caitlin. <laughs> That's a beautiful sound. She's going to do that again. This time she's going to take her mouth off the mouthpiece, take a breath, she's going to reset the embouchure, and then she's going to play. Try that. Again, a really, really good sound. Now it's your turn to try. Go ahead and put your embouchure, or I'm sorry, put your uh, mouthpiece on the neck. I want you to check your embouchure as we did before. Did you do it? Okay, let's take a good breath, just like Caitlin. Shoulders down and relaxed. Here we go, big breath. And one more time, big breath. Great. Now, if you weren't able to make a sound, be sure to check your embouchure again. Make sure you're blowing using enough air, and be certain that you're not using too much air, because if you use too much air, maybe the reed will close up on you. You want to avoid biting down the reed. 
and you can experiment a little bit with it while we're, uh, in terms of where to place your teeth on top of the mouthpiece. You're going to find a really sweet spot. Caitlin's already found hers because she's got a really good sound. Find that sweet spot for yourself and go ahead and try that. Try it again for the best sound you possibly can. Let's do one more time, okay? And we're going to focus in on your embouchure. Ready? Big breath. <laughs> Again, right along with Caitlin, here we go, big breath. Nice, very good. Thanks, Caitlin, that was great. Getting a good sound on the bass clarinet might be a little challenging, challenging at first, but we know that with practice, it's going to get easier and easier and easier for you, and hopefully you're going to sound just as good as Caitlin. Right? The next Measures of Success video, Practice Buddy for the Bass Clarinet, focuses on articulating with the tongue. So be sure to check that out. And now, on behalf of everyone here at FJH and Caitlin, I'm Dr. Deb. Thanks for joining us.